I overthink all the things. Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Erica, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to simplify your wardrobe with the pieces that you love. If you clicked into this video expecting some advice from a fashion expert, you're not going to get that. I am not a fashion expert. I am not an expert in minimalism. I'm just sharing my experiences. So if you're interested in seeing how I build my very first capsule wardrobe, stick around. I did this project for my winter wardrobe, and I'm going to talk about what a capsule wardrobe is, why it's something you might want to do, and how I went about building mine. I actually make a concerted effort to get dressed and ready for the day, whereas before I I didn't. If we weren't leaving the house, I didn't make a lot of effort. I put on a pair of jeans and a shirt because who am I trying to impress my kids? Turns out I like being dressed for the day. I actually feel like I can do more and be productive. Is that weird? Is that like a thing or <laughs> that people already know and I'm just discovering it? <laughs> Hello, honey. Is it cold out there? No, well, it's not too bad. I'm a new minimalist. I'm new to this lifestyle and the philosophy and the mindset, but it has revolutionized the way that I think. It's made me happy and it's it's been a part of everyday decision making for almost two months. And today I'm going to share with you my winter wardrobe. And the reason I'm doing this is because I just finished decluttering my bedroom and decluttering my closet. It felt great to declutter my closet. I had decluttered down to the stuff that I enjoy wearing that brought me joy. But my closet, but my closet didn't feel right still. It felt better, much better. Something fell off and I couldn't put my finger on it. So I Googled mindful minimalist closet. Those felt like words that described what I wanted from my closet. And the first thing that came up was capsule wardrobe. So before <laughs> I did that, I had not heard that phrase. So I'd already pared down my closet to what had made me happy. Now I just needed that final organization that was really gonna get me through the winter. So I started clicking around and digging deeper. Two ladies um, that, I'm, that I focused in on to guide me through this process. One is Carolyn from Unfancy, uh, and I'll leave her link below. She focuses on the number 37 for her capsule wardrobes. And also Project 333, um, she has uh, a number of 33 that she uses for all of her capsule wardrobes. A capsule wardrobe is generally 25 to 50 pieces. The point of a capsule wardrobe is to have fewer pieces for more outfits. You need things that are interchangeable, that are versatile, and that you love. You need things that are seasonally appropriate. So you could build a capsule wardrobe for your whole year if you live somewhere where you don't experience considerable weather changes. I do. I experience all four seasons. <laughs> so for me, a winter wardrobe it means layers, boots, um, warmth warm clothes. It's just a few pieces that you really enjoy wearing and you just change them up. So what's included in a capsule? The advice or the recommendation is to include dresses, skirts, pants, shirts, outerwear, and shoes. That's what's part of your capsule. What's not included in the capsule? Jewelry, workout clothes, underwear, purses, bags, pajamas. I did not get married to a number for this capsule wardrobe. The number doesn't matter to me. What mattered to me was that I had clothes that I loved for the winter that were inter interchangeable and versatile. But some of the stuff I knew I wasn't going to wear for another half a year until the spring or summer, but it was still sitting in my closet and taking up space. And so once I started to research what a winter capsule wardrobe would look like for me, it was like a light bulb went off like a switch was flipped and I knew exactly that that's what I needed to finish my closet for this season. So I'm gonna focus on December, January, and February. I'm on the East Coast of the United States. Uh, so we have some cold weather before us in these next three months. So the why for me, I needed to simplify my wardrobe. I did not want to spend time 
up in my room picking out outfits, laboring over the decision anymore. It was just part of my day I didn't want anymore. I wanted it to be an easy choice. I wanted to discover my style. I never really gave it much thought on the materials that I liked, uh, what fit well on me. I never gave it thought. If something, if there was a piece that I love, I just wore it till it had holes. I wanted to be able to make better shopping decisions. So by understanding the fabrics that I love and by understanding the fits that really made me feel good, I'm better able to decide what to spend money on and not just spend money on a shirt because I need, I think I need shirts. Having a capsule wardrobe has made me just laser focus in on the things that I love. Everything that's hanging in my closet, I love wearing. So no matter what I match up with and whatever I pair with what, I know I'm gonna feel good in it because I love every single piece that is now hanging in my closet. I was able to remove all the pieces that should be spring and summer. They're not in my closet. They're now packed up for summer. So here's how I did it. I took a look at Project 333 and I took a look at Unfancy's 37 and I understood the approach and figured out the way I wanted to do it. I did not set myself out on a certain number of jeans or a certain number of shirts or boots or shoes or whatever. I, I, I don't even know what my final number is. So I took everything out of my closet. Now there wasn't that much left because I just decluttered. So I took everything out of my, clo my closet, but I did it one at a time and I did it mindfully. I did it with purpose. I thought about each shirt. I thought about the times that I had worn it, the way I felt, what was the fabric. And then I organized my piles into super love and love. <laughs> um, I set aside clothes that were for different seasons. And I started to really take a look at the fabrics and the makeup of the fabrics that I loved and the, the ones that I really wear again and again because they make me feel great and I love the way they fit. And it turns out I have two dominant fabrics that I really like. Rayon, I would have not guessed that. I just love the way that feels. And Modal, M-O-D-A-L, I don't know what that is. As I took out each piece, I thought about versatility. Can I use this multiple times? Can I wear this throughout the entire season with multiple other pieces, with different pants and a skirt? I considered the usage of it. I had to consider my lifestyle. I used Unfancy's lifestyle section to make myself a pie chart of how I, how I feel like I spend my time. Most of my time is at home. That doesn't mean I can't get dressed for the day, right? Need practical clothes that um, can be washed in the washing machine. I don't like a dry clean only shirt at this phase of my life. Too many times I get coffee or yogurt or crayon or paint or something on me that I need to be able to stain treat and wash. Um, so I knew I needed some practical pieces in my winter capsule. And I gave my colors thought. I always gravitated towards black and brown, but I didn't realize that I had so many black pieces. So black is my majority color. And from there, I add in mint, green, and um, occasionally some red. And I also have brown boots. They are my winter staple shoe. And I have all these jeans and black pants, so I can wear these brown boots with my skinny jeans and with my leggings, except my leggings are black. So I'm just gonna have to deal with that this year because I'm not spending money. So hopefully it's okay to wear brown boots with black leggings. But I did add brown leggings to my winter wish list. So I made myself a wish list of things that I would add to complete this winter capsule. When I assessed my shoes, I realized I had some great boots, and a pair of heels, red heels for the winter, and no sneakers. The slip-on sneakers that I had, the dog chewed, so they weren't really great in the first place. They were also super cheap, which is why I bought them. Which brings me back to making better shopping decisions and having a capsule. I need a great pair of sneakers. And so that is something I am going to have to treat myself on because I just, I don't have any sneakers. Going through this process, I, re I realized that all I really need to shop for for the next three months are a pair of good sneakers and some leggings. I only have one pair of leggings and my style features leggings in the winter time. So <laughs> I want a pair of brown leggings and an extra pair of black leggings. That would really kind of round out my wardrobe for the winter. 
my style, <clears throat> my style is relaxed, neutral, conservative, practical, functional. And then for my outerwear, I have this one like pillowy gray snow coat that I don't really like, but it's great for playing in the snow with the kids because I don't play in the snow by myself. It'll serve us fine to play in the front yard or the backyard in the snow this winter. I could wear it on an excursion to Antarctica and not be cold. This thing is a beast. Um, but it is my only winter coat. I'm probably just going to deal with it and wear it this winter because I'm trying not to spend money. But if I come across the fantastic sale of a really spectacular coat, then maybe I'll treat myself because I just, I don't have a go-to winter coat that's not my snow coat. This was a very fruitful exercise for me. I'm really enjoying the capsule wardrobe. It's very easy to choose an outfit and get ready for the day. This video helps you think about your own wardrobe, your own pieces that you have, some pieces that you have that you don't love, um, and ways that you might start to declutter some things out of your life. You could very simply just pick out all the summer pieces and all the pieces that you don't like, put them in a box, and put it away somewhere in your closet, your attic, wherever, and forget about it for a month or two. See if you can live without it for the season and really reduce what you have in your closet to the pieces that you truly, truly love wearing. Thank you for watching. Um, stick around, this series uh, is gonna be, so far, four parts, but I'm open to suggestions if you have ideas. It's gonna be uh, simplifying your wardrobe, simplifying your laundry, simplifying your meal planning and grocery shopping, and simplifying your day with time blocking. If you haven't already, please click the subscribe button and the notification bell below. You can find me on Instagram, on Facebook, and Twitter as well. And I'll put the links here at the end of this video in the description box below.